Hi everyone, this is Jessica. Hey guys, this is Lizzie. And welcome to our cooking show. So today we're making avocado toast. Check, Check it out. out. Anyways, this is a staple in my house. What Me about too. yours? Absolutely. So we're gonna do it three ways today. So I like to use um, crunchy things to put on avocado toast. So even for my most simple um, avocado toast, I always like to have a little garnish of something to go on top. Celery and carrots, it's something my kids would eat anyway. Just finely dice up the carrots and the celery. Wow, you're really good at cutting. Did you want to be a chef? Are. You know, I did want to go to culinary school. You did? Yeah, I really so did. did I. I think I still will. Really? I think one, yeah, one day. Like, I wing it. Girl, here a root. I don't know. Butter, oil, I don't know. Let's also do some tomatoes. Like yeah, tomatoes. I agree. Tomatoes are one of the simplest things to grow. Okay, and so then, like, please tell us about mint it. Mint grows like weed, so mint is like, not weed, but like you weeds. Would, <laughs> what do you know about weed? <laughs> like, so, should we cut up avocado? Yes. How do you like to cut your avocado? I usually go down the middle, yeah, and then you just slide it around. Look, look at that reveal. Yeah, this is great. What do you do with the seed? Uh uh, see, I don't do that. That's some skill right there. I did that one time and went right through my hand. Well, you were like, what were you doing? I was, I was like, ah. Oh. No, you don't need to do all that. I know, you just go it was really so close. dramatic. So you have your avocado and then just scoop it. Scoop it out. The other day, the other day, my husband was scooping out avocado and he went like the. Just I said, well, what's that gonna get you? You gotta do that all deep, the way down nice, to the end. all the way around the core kind of scoop, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull our toast out. So I think the trick to a really good avocado toast is also to really toast your bread really nice. Yeah, it should be crunchy. It should be like a crunch to it because the so, avocado and the olive oil kind of makes it a little soft. Okay, you do olive oil. I'll do olive oil. Well, that's avocado oil. Well, avocado oil actually is really great. So yeah, because it matches. And then I'm gonna just butter the toast. She's using the gluten-free sourdough, and I'm using the regular sourdough. I think we're mashing the avocado onto our toast. Yep. And I like to keep it kind of chunky. I don't like to mash it up too much. I'm gonna add the celery. I'm gonna add the carrot, and then the tomato. I'm gonna do cucumber, tomato. That's cute. One more tomato. And then I'm gonna sprinkle cilantro. Dance. And definitely sea salt. Yeah. This is my favorite salt in the whole world, Jane's Crazy Salt. If you don't know about it, you should. You should, because <laughs> this is a life changer. I also love um, hot sauce. Ooh. So I have these little Tabascos, because I got hot sauce in my bag. Ah! <laughs> for the kids without Tabasco, for mine, all. A little bit of. Spicy, spicy. Yeah. So you get avocado toast two ways. Look at that. Boom, bam. You ready for the second one? Yeah, let's do our let's next do one. This. this is avocado toast. Caliente. Yes, we're gonna do a little bit of spice, baby. So we have chopped celery. Yes. Cilantro. Um, if you Joel. don't like cilantro, then you can obviously use um, any kind of really fresh herb, herb. Yeah. but I think cilantro sound is really nice with jalapenos, which is gonna be my spice. I love mint, it is actually one of my favorites, and cilantro. So I'm gonna just dice up the tomatoes, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, on top of mine. EVOO. EVOO. Is, yeah. that, is that an acronym that like That's most really people fancy. know about? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of sea salt, dice up my jalapenos here. I'm gonna do kind of like a pickled veggie vibe. So I'm gonna do a pepperoncini, and then I have no idea how to pronounce this. I get it wrong every single try time. Try it, just try. Jardiniera. There you go. Do the r though. I can't do it. I can never roll my R. Yes, you can. You can do r. No, like, okay, okay, you can do it, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I have no Latina in me. I can't do it. I, <laughs> you shouldn't do that anymore. I'm not doing that. I finally, finally chop the jalapenos because big chunks of jalapenos can ruin your life sometimes. Your oh gosh. <laughs> your esophagus. Oh my gosh. Your stomach and. It's the worst. And later. It's the worst. Oh, it gives you the oh, gift. Oh, yes. And you really, a little goes a long way. You can see I didn't really use that much of it. Just the tip. 
Okay, anyway. So I'm also chopping up all of the pickled veggies so it's not too much in your mouth at one time. So I'm gonna take the jalapenos and even use half of what I chopped up and you can save the rest for later. And then I'm gonna top it with the tomatoes, the jalapenos, go to town with a quarter of a lemon. Cilantro, very, very last. I'm gonna put the Jane's mix up salt. Here's our avocado toast. Here's our spicy avocado toast, two ways. So this is a buttered piece of bread. I'm gonna put butter on mine this time since I'm doing egg on top. What if you do have extra avocado? Is there other things you'd like to make with it? Yeah, guacamole. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna layer first the lemon, some of these crunchy Tacaria pickled vegetable vegetables. Tacaria. So these are pieces of jicama that are pickled. For me, I am gonna keep mine pretty simple since I'm adding an egg on top. So I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. I'll do a little bit of pepper. And I'm gonna add some carrots as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of cucumber. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pepperoncinis and I'm just gonna slice these. That's a very really nice flavor. And I always put tomato because I think it's just nice how it balances out all the flavors. Yeah, that looks delish. Oh, a little bit of cilantro? Just a little like garnish. Girl, you are making mine look like <laughs> very plain right now. I usually like a runny egg. And now I'm gonna add all of the, gar the garnish that I chopped up. So I'm done with my poached egg on gluten-free <laughs> bread avocado toast. Yes, and I have regular sourdough, and I have included a fried egg. All right, so there you have it. Avocado toast, three ways. That's right, and so make sure to subscribe and comment below to let us know which avocado recipe is your fave. Bye. Cool. Bye. Bye.